What's up fam? Hope y'all are doing awesome and super excited to get into this week's updates and not gonna lie, I think I already posted a tweet on it Friday, but it's been tough as a lot of this week has been about us scaling up as a community and company and yeah, we had to make a lot of hard decisions on clarifying our vision, who we want to work with, what we want to offer as value to zone in on. So let's dive into it, but a much needed week for sure as we scale up into 2024. All right, for daily active users, bumped up to 63 to 66. Super happy about that, bringing on more people and having our old members consistently in our ecosystem, having fun. For weekly active users, 146 to 155. So really awesome jump. And shout outs to uh, people like uh, Jojo and Zigno creating those content to bring other people in and other people referring their friends in so really cool to see them coming in and then we uh teaching them how to do the social boost system how to enter bounties or just casually chatting the alpha chat just sharing or the education one just sharing alpha to each other and then they get points too then for core group 42 to 44 not bad like a slight increase as more and more people become more engaged as we get closer to retirement so really cool then weekly major wins. We got four big ones this week. We got Money Play Idol teaming up with Crypto Stash. So super dope as I've been watching Crypto Stash for the past few years already. So really cool to see two of my favorite people coming together. And we got Celtic Matthews becoming the IMX hero. Congrats to him. Uh, watch out for our IMX and Polygon's new blockchain collab. They're gonna make a lot of noise from late February to April. So some alpha there. Congrats to Smashter for receiving an Arbitrum grant for his game World War Dow. Really dope to see. We have an ongoing event with them, which will probably extend by another week to give people more time to get into that play to earn airdrop event. So jump into that if you want to. It's in our bounty page. Then another win, Paladin's Dow team team up with Press Start Capital. So that's a huge one. Uh, Paladin's Dow, they already have a bunch of connections, but officially having this with Press Start Cap is a really big win and really looking forward to seeing what they do this year give them a follow if you haven't already they are a must follow and please go in their discord it's really dope there's a lot of great combos and they have a lot of exclusive opportunities which they've been generously sharing with us so shout out to them and uh, if you don't have a pass dm me your magic address and i'll shoot you one <laughs> then bouncy board weekly have the posters around 12 a little bit less than last week but still solid same for weekly participants, around 35. And the reason for that was we didn't provide as much opportunities as we did last week. As I think last week we were more proactive with helping people sign up for referral links and getting up to kickstart bounties. So we need to do a better job with that. As this week we were more busy in setting up big events for our four week campaign, but it is what it is. Let's keep it going. For Twitter account, 722 to some of the high quality folders. Really dope. Cultivating Discord. Uh, 463 to 470 members. Really cool. And I want to also start tracking our churn rate, but that feature unlocks around 500 Discord members. So we need 30 more Discord members before we can start tracking churn rate, why people leave, and etc. So just 30 more, and we'll get that. High quality collabs. Paladin's Dow, Catalyst OG for the joint Play Ember Play Testament. King of Destiny, shouts to Brissa De Decento, I think that's his name, for uh, from Finny Gods for uh, giving us another Elder Gods. They've been so generous. Uh, uh, check them out. I think they're going to be one of the top gaming ecosystems. Their King of Destiny game super fun. I've been playing it for the past 11, 12 days already, so that's like better than 99% of games out there already. So really check them out. World War Dow 2, um, Infinite Victory, shouts to their team. And one private opportunity mentioned in Alpha Chat. Then for our work, we finalized around 70%. Super dope. I think I'm giving more leeway to our lead designer, Helios, to uh, get the checks on those boxes. I think initially I was a lot more close with uh, monitoring the artwork, but I think after a while he's already gotten the feel of it and I trust him in creating a lot of the artwork. So uh, he's going to take the lead even more now. So. Really excited to see that. I'll give a final check the, for the final drafts, but that's about it. Then for members practically benefiting, increased connections, A+, really cool to see. 
education three plus decent but i still want to bump it up then high quality alpha 16 plus very solid so people chime in like two to four or five high quality alphas per day really cool give great giveaways around six plus solid then helping kickstart initiatives so around two plus so not bad but i do want to bump it up over time to really help our partners well actually it's it was actually three plus so not bad same as last week but i want to tap into that more total giveaways around 1100 worth so 97.6k total we are almost at 100k uh, but we gotta be patient let it cook next week i believe we'll reach it if we have some collabs confirmed and everything goes well but uh yeah let's be patient i'm very excited to reach that milestone but gotta be patient then how can we take that to the next level help people more more connections keep bridging them together that's why i'm very excited for the fake friends campaign to really connect people then for alpha keep rewarding people for sharing alpha too giveaways lots of that coming up in our campaign education i think we'll need to emphasize that more as we continue to help people build their dream businesses i've been seeing a lot of more alpha groups and communities forming and a lot of them want help with community management marketing social media posting how to set up a long-term business so i think we'll be able to really help them out there then let me see oh, got a phone call all right then anything the community are exciting trends we can utilize more uh i think crypto on has still been popular we got other nft products on brc then we got people wanting og roles like from seed hub new alpha groups pop popping up like gremlins and glhfers other ones like gamer base from xborg and people still uh, looking into seeing private deals then mint's coming up like mint happened steady then blood loop clashed happening later on some other ones and still people want airdrops like pixels gobbles etc so still the usual dgen stuff so we'll continue to try to offer that as much as possible what our team did well we're getting back to the usual routine and being more strict on it like our intra weekly and weekly check-ins for our progress of our kpis then we're still engaging with our community members as well across all platforms, mostly Twitter and Discord, Telegram too, with our partners. We got refining our values, what we need to do to scale up, which I'll go more in depth to in the next one, which is what our team can improve upon. So we really made a lot of decisions for doing this. First one was clarifying a value add and our long-term partners, what we wanted. So. Uh, I think we have a lot of crazy passionate community members that really want to take action. So I think uh, us developing that and cultivating that into after our, well, here's some alpha, I'll share it for you. So uh, after our NFT mints, we want to create a bunch of sub DAOs, different committees, like whether it be for creators, alpha sharing, whether it be for marketing, for the creatives. And we have a bunch of other awesome ones I think people will really like and will want to put our most active contributing members to the council will award them with boost points and other benefits from our partners and yeah it's gonna be really awesome and then for other people coming in they can help contribute and maybe they'll get a seat on the council and they can help uh, get some rewarded for that too even more and yeah we're very excited for that then for communication too i think we need to improve that as we scale up so as we get more members like we got a shout out to Extravaganza and Deku. Very excited to have them as our first lead moderators. So as we scale up our company and then we'll need to constantly improve our communication to be transparent. And yeah, we're still working on that and other ways to make the communication easy. Classic SF, another police iron. But uh, yeah, creating that event calendar to have things be transparent so we avoid miscommunication and documenting our workflow, which we are working on then third one would be drawing all our ethics, like uh, what we value as a community member, like that we value more keeping things fair or more decentralized, have it more free or working with more Web2 like partners. So things like that. And yeah, I think for us, we really value that freedom, having people be able to freely express themselves, us getting into close partnerships with people that 
we we really love we love their products we love their services where we love their communities it's more like a back and forth friendship friendly kind of thing not like a more transactional money only thing uh, i want to avoid those kinds of partnerships and i'm glad we're able to clarify that then for our value add to being able to utilize our passionate community members to help benefit the games the communities the protocols investors and other community members that we partner with long term and we want to really utilize our strengths too for that like our community along with our long-term partnership cultivation skills so uh, i think that's something we'll we'll continue doing which i'll get into for number seven later on uh, number six what did you find surprising and fun uh shout out to jojo and his friends popping in along with other people for your friends too thank you all i'm very excited to get to know these community members know more than uh yeah two mods i mentioned that strive against the deku really excited to have them on they've been really awesome co contributing members and uh yeah they were one of our first picks for sure and we're very excited to help cultivate what they want to grow in skill set wise growing in web 3 ams people etc so really cool to see then number three um yeah axe pepper axe backer pumping our bags today that's really funny uh we got like blood loop picks them on chrono forge etc so Shouts to Paladin Zhao for hooking us up for Pixel on Chrono Forge. Then delegating more. Yep, we'll delegate more. Minor Gang Stravaganza, doing more collabs. Whale and Deku doing more. Let me type that in. That working together in community. Then etc. Number seven, that's why we're doing what I mentioned earlier the long term business revenue new generation methods. First one, FT launch, we'll continue focusing on that for the next four weeks and providing as much value as we can to our community, partners, creators, investors, etc. Number two, that's what we we're leading towards from other one referrals. So we want to really create a seamless experience for our partners, like our game partners and other protocols and creators to really integrate themselves into our ecosystem. So I think we have different options, right? We have an option of going for that super premium experience, charging a lot, working with only a few select people. However, I think we're opting more for a more free flowing approach where we want to work with most or all of our favorite people. So like a more uh, more volume approach where we implement, implement fees where else. So for example, if we refer more people to someone's deal flow, we get like a one or 2% of that, or maybe we refer them to video editing services tokenomics, economics, design, refer them to marketing agency, refer them to a uh, artwork design agency, et cetera. We'll, we'll just take a small, like one to two or 3%, or we'll take like, seed private token, whitelist deals, NFT deals, et cetera. So I think we wanna really create that free flowing ecosystem within our own ecosystem and we'll really refine it as time goes on. And I believe our communities that we'll create after the NFT Mint will be a big part of that. Then executing on roadmap schedule. Yep, really zoning in on the big friends. And yeah, that's it. Uh, no other notes. We are two out of 10 weeks done in this big sprint. So really excited to keep going. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video and for continuing to stay in for updates. And if you made it this far, feel free to message me a fun uh, life hack that you personally use to enjoy life more or to make things easier so hope you all enjoyed this video and hope you have a good day talk to you all in discord see ya